Emil von Bering, Emil Adolf von Bering, born as Emil Adolf Bering, the 15th of March 1854 to the 31st of March 1917, was a German physiologist who received the 1901 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, the first one awarded for his discovery of a diphtheria antitoxin. He was widely known as a savior of children, as diphtheria used to be a major cause of child death. He was honored with Prussian nobility in 1901, henceforth being known by the surname von Bering. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Biography. Bering was born in Hansdorf, Kreis Rosenberg, province of Prussia, now Lawitza, Alawa County, Poland. His father was a schoolmaster. The family had 13 children. Between 1874 and 1878, he studied medicine at the Kaiser Wilhelm Academy in Berlin, an academy for military doctors, since his family could not afford the university. As a military doctor, he studied the action of iodoform. In 1888, he became an assistant at the Institute of Robert Koch in Berlin. In 1890 he published an article with Katasato Shibasaboro reporting that they had developed antitoxins against both diphtheria and tetanus. They had injected diphtheria and tetanus toxins into guinea pigs, goats and horses. When these animals developed immunity, they derived antitoxins now known to consists of antibodies from their serum. These antitoxins could protect against and cure the diseases in non-immunized animals. In 1892 he started the first human trials of the diphtheria antitoxin, but they were unsuccessful. Successful treatment started in 1894, after the production and quantification of antitoxin had been optimized. In 1895, he became professor of hygienics within the Faculty of Medicine at the University of Marburg, a position he would hold for the rest of his life. He and the pharmacologist Hans Horst Meyer had their laboratories in the same building, and Bering stimulated Meyer's interest in the mode of action of tetanus toxin. Bering won the first Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1901 for the development of serum therapies against diphtheria. He was elected a foreign honorary member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1902. In 1904, he founded the Bering Work in Marburg, a company to produce antitoxins and vaccines. At the International Tuberculosis Congress in 1905 he announced that he had discovered a substance proceeding from the virus of tuberculosis. This substance, which he designated TC, plays the important part in the immunizing action of his bovivaccine, which prevents bovine tuberculosis. He tried unsuccessfully to obtain a protective and therapeutic agents for humans. Bering died at Marburg, Hessen Nassau, on 31 March 1917. His name survived in the Dade Bering Organization, now part of the Siemens Heatheners, in CSL Bering, a manufacturer of plasma derived biotherapies, in Novartis Bering, and in the Emil von Bering Prize of the University of Marburg, the highest endowed medicine award in Germany. His Nobel Prize medal is now kept on display at the International Red Cross and Red Crescent Museum in Geneva. Topic. Controversy Von Bering is believed to have cheated Paul Ehrlich out of recognition and financial reward in relation to collaborative research in diphtheria. The two men developed a diphtheria serum by repeatedly injecting the deadly toxin into a horse. The serum was used effectively during an epidemic in Germany. A chemical company preparing to undertake commercial production and marketing of the diphtheria serum offered a contract to both men, but von Bering maneuvered to claim all the considerable financial rewards for himself. To add insult to injury, only Bering received the first Nobel Prize in Medicine, in 1901, for his contributions. <laughs> Personal life In December, 29, 1896, Bering married the then 20-year-old L. Spinola 1876 who was a daughter of Bernhard Spinola, the director of the Charité Hospital in Berlin, and a Jewish-born mother, Elise Spinola, born Bendix, who had converted to Christianity upon her marriage. They had six sons. They held their honeymoon at Villa Bering on Capri 1897, where Bering owned a vacation home. In 1909-1911, the Russian writer Maxim Gorky lived at this villa. Topic. Publications 
Die Blutserum Therapy 1892 Die Geschichte der Diphtherie 1893 Bekämpfung der Infektionskrankheiten 1894 Beatrice zur Experimentellen Therapy 1906 E V Bering's Gesammelt Abhandlungen 1915 Digital Edition by the University and State Library Düsseldorf Topic See also German inventors and discoverers Topic References Cornelia Grundmann the 3rd of December 2001 Emil von Bering, the founder of serum therapy. The Nobel Foundation. Retrieved 21 July 2008. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Gilman, D.C., Peck, H.T., Colby, F.M., E.D.S., 1905. Article name needed. New International Encyclopedia, 1st ed. New York, Dodd, Mead. Ulrich Enke, Salvatore Dellenfanzia Bering and Capri Christoph Hans Gerhard, Trias Deutschen Forschergeists Emil von Bering Flaum Verlag, Munich Naturheilpraxis 71, Jergang January, 2018 External links www.unimarburg.de, Bering Digital Newspaper clippings about Emil von Bering in the 20th Century Press Archives of the German National Library of Economics ZBW.